Hi, and welcome to Retro Arcade TV. Today we're going to dive into Super Mario Bros. 3 and show you a few secrets. This game was first released on the regular Nintendo, and since then has been released on multiple platforms. It came with a lot of secrets like most Mario games do, one being the warp whistles. So we're going to show you how you get those secret warp whistles today. In stage one, there are two warp whistles, one in stage three and the other in the castle. You want to quickly speed through stage one and two. In stage one, we'll show you a quick secret block that'll help you with stage three. To practice, you can push down on the keypad to fall through the card. So keeping that knowledge, let's race through the rest of stage one, race through stage two, and then move on to stage three. In stage three, early in the stage, you'll find a secret block that you can use to go up to the sky. Collect all the coins and then drop down. We recommend trying to clear out the end of the stage of any enemies, as this would allow you to get to the end of the stage without losing any life. If you go to the left after dropping down, you'll see a white block. You push down on the keypad again, and then safely walk all the way to the right. If you've done this correctly, and in enough time, you'll be created by Toad, where you'll get your first warp whistle. Congratulations. So from here, we'll move on to the castle to get our second warp whistle. This one will be done a little bit differently as there's not a white block in this one. We'll need to make sure that we get the leaf, which you can do within the stage if you pick up the mushroom and then get the leaf. Once you get the leaf, you'll want to clear the bones out of the way and not walk through the door, but then use your flying power with the raccoon and fly all the way up and then walk to the right. If you've done this correctly, you'll be dropped into a room where you'll be given your second warp whistle. Way to go. So you can use your first warp whistle here to move on to stage two, but it's not recommended. We actually recommend beating stage five and six as we're doing here, and then the final stage. This does a few things for you. First, it'll give you a few more lives, hopefully, if you beat everything correctly. Two is if you beat the final stage, Princess Peach will give you a special flying power, which can be used in level 8. In stage 2, you can get your third warp whistle. We won't go through the specifics of that, but if you go and beat all the stages and go all the way to the right, you'll need to break the rock and defeat the Hammer Brothers. And once you do that, you'll be given your third warp whistle. It's not necessary to do this. What we recommend doing is using your first warp whistle once you get into stage 2, moving all the way over to world 7. Once you're in World 7, use your second Warp Whistle to move on to World 8. Once you're in World 8, you're finally there. It's quite a beast to beat this level, so good luck with that. If you enjoyed today's content, please subscribe.